Good morning, everybody. I'd like to show you how you can use Keynote on the Mac to support your use of technology as it relates to vocabulary practice in your classroom. So to get started, I've created three slides already. Um, I have one slide that has my vocabulary word, which is temperature. I've created another one that uses it in a sentence or question and has an image related to the vocabulary word and the definition. You can have these slides in any order. So in your classroom, you may choose to have all of the vocabulary words listed, um, followed by all of the definitions and all of the supportive material. It doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how to link them together so that when students create a slideshow, it moves in sync with the vocab word, the definition, and demonstration of the word. So to do that, I'm going to click on the text box here that has my vocabulary word. And when I go up to the format menu, I'll choose add link. And here's where I can link to a slide. So I really don't want to use this next slide option in case the order of my slides changes. So if I choose next slide, it's going to link to whatever slide follows my vocabulary word. I actually want to choose a slide number. And you can see that I have my slides out of order over here on purpose so that I can demonstrate this for you. So when I click on temperature, I want that to go to the definition, which is actually slide three. And hit return. And you'll see that it puts this little arrow in here showing that there is a link to another slide or a website. There's lots of different things that you can use to link. So when I go then to my definition, same thing, I'm going to click on the text box, go up to format, add link, and I want this to link to my slide with the sentence and image. So that is slide number two. So after I have all my slides in and all my links completed and I go up to play my slideshow, you can see that when I click on temperature, it links to the definition. And when I click on the definition, it links to the sentence and the image. Uh, so that's how you make a slideshow with links to different slides in your show. There's also um, just a really quick cool option under the play menu up here. You can record a slideshow. So if you wanted students to demonstrate um, speaking the vocabulary words, reading the definition and the sentence, they could record the slideshow, save that, and um, send it to you for assessment. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.